<laughs> so in junior high, um, there was this legend in my high school. This is pre-internet, so there was no way to check these urban <laughs> legends, right? Um, and that Twinkies, the baked goods, weren't actually baked. They were sort of this goo that was extruded and then exposed to a chemical catalyst, so it foamed up and it grew this golden outy la outer layer on top of the white inner layer. Um, and I believed this for decades until I actually came to researching this poem. Um, and uh, it's also relevant that uh, in my junior high school, Twinkie was also an epithet for someone who is yellow on the outside and white on the inside. Um, I should also mention, um, so this poem, see it looks like this. Um, and uh, there's an as if, and then there's a sentence. And I did that because the as if puts the sentences into the subjunctive, right? The subjunctive in English is how we talk about uh, fantasy or unreality. But what's interesting is uh, in English, um, you know, the subjunctive is often indistinguishable from the past tense. You are becomes as if you were. And so I was thinking, well, what is it about us? We like to cloak our fantasies in trappings of history, in trappings of historicity, of pastness. And particularly, you see this when people are talking about race, uh, this idea that things were better back in the day, right? Um, you know, you see this in Gone with the Wind, in, uh, in Arianism, in uh, you know, what is the value added by the again, in Make America Great Again. Goldacre. As if you were ever wide-eyed enough to believe in urban legends. As if these plot elements weren't the stalest of cliches, the secret lab, the anaerobic chamber, the gloved hand ex machina, the chemical-infused fog. As if every origin story didn't center on the same sweet myth of a lost wholeness. As if such longing would seem more palatable if packaged as nostalgia, as if there had once been a moment of unity, smoothly numinous, pellucid, as if inner and outer were merely phases of the same substance, as if this whiteness had been your original condition, as if it hadn't been what was piped into you, what seeped into each vacant cell, each air hole, each pore, as if you had started out skinless, shameless, blameless, creamy as if whipped, passive as if extruded, quivering with volatility in a metal mold, as if a catalyzing vapor triggered a latent reaction, as if your flesh foamed up a hydrogenated emulsion consisting mostly of trapped air, as if, though sponge-like, you could remain shelf-stable for decades, part <laughs> embalming fluid, part rocket fuel, part glue, as if you had been named twin a word for likeness, or wink, a word for joke, or ink, a word for stain, or key, a word for answer. As if your skin oxidized to its present burnished hue, golden as if homemade. Thank you.